So today we're continuing our discussion with the analysis of two categorical variables. We're looking now at some descriptive statistics, specifically a graphical display. So we've looked at bar graphs before, but the bar graph that we have seen in the past or in chapter two was just a single bar graph or based on one variable. Right now, because we're talking about the analysis of two categorical variables, our bar graph is going to be based on two variables. So to illustrate that, you will have a variable that's represented on the x-axis and then different colors or patterns for the second variable. Now, the bar graph, just like before, is going to have on the y-axis the different frequencies. And remember that the way that we visually di distinguish between a bar graph and a histogram is that a bar graph, the bars don't touch. And the reason for that is because the x-axis is made up of different categories. Whereas on histogram, the bars do touch because your x-axis is a number line or it's continuous, which is why the bars would actually touch because it makes sense for one to touch two, for example. So with this bar graph, it's looking at the bivariate data smoking status compared to if somebody has ever been divorced. If you were to see this in a contingency table format, each of the bars would be made at up of its own cell. So this would be a two by two table, or there would be four cells represented. Also in a bar graph, when you look at this type of grouping, it tends to be the case that the explanatory variable is gonna be represented on the x-axis. So here it's um, saying that smoking status is going to explain the response variable, which is ever having been divorced. So for a bar graph, this is the only type of graph that you can use for the analysis of two categorical variables. And a bar graph also works for one categorical variable. So if you were to see the analysis of two categorical variables, it would include a legend, whereas a regular bar graph would not.